Chag Sameach! I'm excited to be here before the big holiday. It's Erev Super Tuesday. <laughs> excited. Um, as you can tell from my shirt, I am, sh I am schwitzing in my Bernie shirt, in my high-waisted pants. Um, I, yeah, I support Bernard. Uh, it's, uh, it's a very exciting time to be a person. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm, I'm happy to be here celebrating Purim because it's without a doubt our best genocide. Uh, if you're not familiar, every Jewish holiday is about a thwarted genocide attempt. The theme you learn in Hebrew school is like, they tried to kill us, and if you don't celebrate this holiday, they might as well have succeeded. <laughs> Oh, it's great. Yeah, this, uh, I love Purim. You guys must love Purim, especially you, because you get to heckle. Uh, it's great. You go to Megillah reading, and, and every time they say, Haman, you get to boo. It's, it's Jewish Halloween because of the costumes and because of the boo. I am so sorry. I'm wearing a Bernie shirt, so of course I'm doing Catskills humor. I, I too am 78 years old. <laughs> I don't hate men. Uh, I don't hate men. Some of my best friends are men. They're, they're okay. Uh, but there are a lot of bad ones, and they're either in power or next to me on the subway. <laughs> I had a recent encounter with a subway masturbator, which for the uninitiated is a man masturbating on the subway. And oh my god, oh, like I just cringe thinking about it. It felt like being catcalled in sign language. <laughs> it was disgusting. And I, I felt so uncomfortable that I had to get off at the next stop, and of course, so did he. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'm not originally from New York. I'm from Canada, which I grew up in Toronto. We, yeah, we called the subway the Underground Railroad. But as much as I'm killing it right now, um, I'm not the most famous person from my alma mater. Not, not to brag, it's kind of, I don't want you guys to be intimidated, but I'm from the Community Hebrew Academy of Toronto, class of 2011. Go Tigers! And ahead of me in the Community Hebrew Ac Academy of Toronto, class of 2010, is Zach Hyman, who's now number 11 on the Toronto Maple Leafs. Which is, holy shit, that's a big deal. And I, to explain, I, like, I don't know if you guys get it, like, Hockey is Canada's national pastime. To know someone who grew up to go into the NHL, that's like if someone you guys went to high school with grew up to become a school shooter. <laughs> I, I know, I know. That joke, that joke's hard because you never know if it's too soon or too early. <laughs> exactly. Okay, here we go. You've earned a palate cleanser. Um, you, 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 got, you guys like knees? Uh, you're, you're into joint, joint humor? Uh, I have two knees, uh, one of which has three screws in it because I broke my knee in objectively the funniest way possible, which was a segue accident. This is... This is for real, and it's, it's crazy because the only people who ride segways are me, Joe Bluth, and <laughs> Paul Blart Malkoff. <laughs> but like, to give you guys the whole story, uh, I was with my family, I was visiting cousins in Israel, which, it's a, it, it's a very small country, so most people haven't heard of it. <laughs> most people don't even know where the borders are. <laughs> Including the Prime Minister. Um, I didn't know it was broken until I got back to the States, because after, after it snapped, it's, I don't blame the Segway, it's, I blame the Ottoman Empire, 
who, as everyone knows, when they constructed their port in Jaffa, did not foresee the advancements of bipedal technology. And so the wheels got caught on one of the cobblestones. The, they, they powered down the, and the machine like stopped in the middle of the street and I plopped forward knee first. And my first thought was literally, I'm like, oh my God, Israeli drivers, this is how I die. <laughs> I, I assure people like, no, like th 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 there's, there's, they're not all scary Israelis. Like that's not, that, 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 that's not redundant. Um, some of them are my cousins. <laughs> so broke my knee and then I was like, okay, Nancy Kerrigan cried more than I did. <laughs> so it can't be that bad. But when I did get back in town, I was like, ooh, maybe I can take this opportunity to get fun drugs. And they're like, why is your knee hot? You're going to the hospital. And uh, then, that, then I naturally, you see where this is going, uh, got open reduction internal fixation surgery, which is a fancy way of saying I got screwed by a Jewish doctor. Yay! It's the best day to happen to my mom. We celebrate the anniversary of January 6th. Uh, the worst part of having a broken knee, though, was for three months, I was locked in with a full Forrest Gump brace. And, and it sucks because they give you a cane when you can't dance, and I never wanted to dance more, you know? They, they hand you Fred Astaire's secret weapon, but in that state, the only dance move I could do was, of course, the springtime for Hitler. <laughs> I'm kind of like obsessed with Hitler. Uh, it's basically in my blood. Uh, and you know who else would say that? Is Hitler! <laughs> okay, wow. Um, I, sorry to disappoint you guys, I don't have a lot of abortion jokes. In my act, I kind of just stop before they have a chance to develop. <laughs> uh, but I will say this, hot take for the West Village, uh, abortion isn't murder, okay? If, if abortion were murder, then seeing as the fact that my body is a temple, then Republicans would be okay with people getting killed inside. <laughs> Thank you, don't forget to go!